Hello, it's Rob Moore here from Progressive Property, and I'm on the couch with somewhat of a celebrity now oh, in the thank property you. world. <laughs> uh, it's Mr. Paul Tolson. Paul, this is everyone. Hi, great to be here. And mm. just want to catch up with Paul. Actually, Paul and I, we probably did an interview, what, about a year ago, would you say? I, th I think it's about a year, yeah. And things yes. have really kicked on yeah. since then, haven't they? Yes, yeah, very so exciting. just mm. before we do that, just take us back before you were working with Progressive, before you were in the community. What made you want to jump on and get involved in property you know a little bit more full-time well I, I'd been investing since about 2005 and I'd done okay to start with then hit some problems during the credit crunch got stuck uh, I, I really didn't know how I could find funds to to do more deals uh, we, had, we had a legal problem we had to work through so I, I actually turned up at the uh, Prop uh, Progressive Property Super Conference in 2013 and I remember being right at the back thinking well if I sit here, I can get out quick if I need to. <laughs> yeah, <you> can't <laughs> now. <laughs> and, and I was actually thinking, should I get out of property and do something completely different? Mm -hmm. And being at the, co at the conference was really giving property a last chance. I thought, OK, these guys, Rob and Mark, they seem to have done really well. Let's check it out. If they can do it, well, you know, obviously anybody can. Oh, thanks. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK, but then you made a decision, didn't mm -hmm. you? And fast forward to now, which sounds like what two or three years on. Yeah. So tell us your portfolio size, the net income, if you've raised, raised any JV finance. Just give us the top line results. Well, uh, as it stands at the moment, my portfolio is, is worth about two and a half million, maybe oh. maybe a little bit more than that. Um, but I'm actually starting to buy and sell. Okay. So I've, I've probably bought and sold about five million pounds worth of property over the last uh, few years since I started. All oh, right. So you've um, I'm flipping at the moment. Um, so if that's five million that you flipped in total value, roughly what's the profit been? Well, the, the the equity that I've got at the moment in 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 my portfolio is about one and a half million. Mm. Um, uh, passive income of about five thousand a month. Right. But the the main income at the moment now is the is buying, adding value, and selling. Right. And in in London, that market is is, sure. is really hot. It's funny because so, people moan about London a lot, don't they? But it's obviously making you a lot of money. Well, I, I love it actually because I, I love doing projects yeah. and so holding property and dealing with tenants, I've realised actually it's not, the, it's not the business I want to be in. Yeah. So to buy and get rid of properties, right. re I really enjoy it. And it's a good it's time, a, isn't it, at the moment with the market? Yeah. For, for yeah. Or, although in, in any market yeah. you, you can make that work. Sure. Um, and I think one of the great things that I've, I've learned through Progressive is that um, whoever you are, whatever you like, you can find a property strategy or a property business that really suits who you are. Sure. And I think that's one of the things that you and Mark have helped me to, to actually identify. Find your niche. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. OK. Mm. So with all those five million pounds worth of property and everything you've done, sounds like you must have had a massive wedge of cash to start and you must have had to have already been a millionaire. Oh, totally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I actually came back um, from working in, Al in Albania. I'd been involved in aid work and education, and marriage had fallen apart. Came back with no money, slept on a friend's floor uh, for a few months, Fine. then moved into a, a really crappy HMO. Yeah. Um, am I allowed to say things like oh, that? Well, you yeah. just did. <laughs> Um, realised actually I, I need my own place. So I borrowed money from my parents, got my first house, and then since then I've done everything on joint venture finance. So, so money. yeah. yeah. Um, so in total, I think I've probably raised about one and a half million pounds worth of joint venture wow. finance. Some of it's obviously gone back. Sure. Um, so. Uh, and that's enabled um, you to build that two and a half million portfolio and flip the five million pounds worth of. That's right. Deals. Yeah. Now, obviously, that's amazing. The most common thing I hear from people time and time again at events, thousands of people I've trained, they hear a story like yours mm. and they go, that's great, that's great, but I couldn't do it. Mm. So what would you say to someone thinking that? That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Ex exactly. Why is it uh, everyone else can yeah. do it and I can't? Yeah, and the, the period when I was stuck during the credit crunch, uh, 2008, 9, 10, that was what I thought. And when you believe it, it's not going to happen. Mm. So I had to change my beliefs. Right. I can raise money yeah. and and I can do deals sure. and, and I think you've got to find the deals you've got to find the investors but you've got to believe you can do both mm -hmm. and putting the two together I, th yeah. I think is what's made the difference sure. but absolutely if if you believe that you can go out and raise finance you will you will do yeah, um, yeah. great mm. and I uh, on that note on the finance note you run your own property networking event don't you that's right and why do you do that? Why do you run your own? Uh, where, where's your area? Um, London Waterloo. 
Okay. Um, so I, I, I invest in South London yeah. mostly. Um, the event we hold at the, the Park Plaza County Hall at Waterloo, yeah. um, it's, it, it will be my first anniversary right. uh, next month. So, uh, um, so looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, the, why the, the, why the do you like running an event yourself? A, a, a number of reasons. One um, is obviously to position myself. Yeah. Um, I'm now seen as an expert. Mm. Um, well, I probably always was yeah. because I, I've got the experience, but I wasn't seen in that way. So right. people now see me as somebody to talk to, yeah. uh, to do joint ventures with. And you've raised I've JV Finance from your event, have you? Not finance, but um, I've, I've actually attracted deals, right. um, yeah. which are joint venture deals. So sure. in that case, I, I've actually brought the funds. Somebody right. else brought the deal, and we put okay. the two together. So, yeah. um, so that's been a huge benefit. Yeah. The other thing is that I, I love inspiring other people. Mm. So it's an opportunity to put something back into sure. the network as well. Okay. And on that mm. note, what would you say to someone who might have been in a position like you two, three years ago at the back of an event, maybe going to leave, should they get into property, maybe have looked into us, seeing mm. on the fence, you were there, what mm. would you say to that person now you've been successful? With, without any shadow of a doubt, get to the events, go on the courses, it, whether it's with Progressive or others, but just do it. Take action. Sure. Um, some people go to too many courses and don't take action. You've got to do both. So get to the courses, learn what you can, and then take action. Sure. Um, and you'll see the results. And people can come yeah. and meet you at your Waterloo event, can they? Second Monday of every month. Great. All right, Paul. So, thank you. Good to check in again. Thank you. Next year, who knows what your results will be. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Thank, thank you very you. much.